everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, all sending as Martin, and welcome back to the channel. Today, something a teensy bit different than the usual. So if you didn't know, on my second channel, In the Little Woods, it's the same as this one with a little less off the end. I do a mixture of videos, I kind of experiment on that channel, so I've got vlogs, which I really enjoy. And now we put your little leggies through the little holes. Ah! You're a little Pikachu! Oh my god, look at the cost of these mini rolls, they're massive as well. Oh, that, that's mini rolls. Oh, they're mini rolls. Oh. oh. You thought you were cool and you'd eat a sour sweet and you instantly regret it. Oh. <laughs> and then the other kind of videos I've been making have been Pokemon card unboxings. I plan to do more unboxings on various other things in the future, um, but today we're going to stick with the Pokemon trend. We have got this. It's brand new. It just came out today, Feb the 3rd. This is the Elite Trainer Box for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So let's move on to the other camera then and open this bad boy up. Like every Elite Trainer Box, it comes inside of a massive sleeve with the Pokemon logo, an image of the Pokemon, the set, and also an Elite Trainer box, and for people that like eating things, uh, you probably don't want to put this in your mouth. And then before we get into the box itself, we have this little booklet. And this is always just kind of like a beginner's guide to Pokemon, kind of lets you know about the different types of cards, their rarity, all that sort of stuff, nothing overly important, except for those pages, which we're not going to show you, because those are the card listings. I always like going into these unboxings blind. I never want to know what cards I can actually get in the set until I've opened up like a significant amount of them. So let's slide this bad boy open. Ha ha! So when you get an elite trainer box, you don't actually get yourself a pre-made deck. You actually just get yourself, I think it's eight booster packs. So we've got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven and the 8th one is right there. You do, however, get yourself a crap ton of energy cards, which is actually super handy. And as well as that, the QR code. Now, I do usually give these away in the video. This is for the Pokemon training card game online. So I'm gonna flip this around, and it's first come, first serve, whoever redeems it first, congratulations. As well as that, you get a teeny tiny bag of dye, which can come in pretty handy. And then arguably the most important thing after the cards is the sleeves that you can actually store the cards inside of. And these ones are obviously emblazoned with a logo with Lunala hanging out on the the front as well so you can see they got this design on the front and they're clear on the back and you get I think it's 65 of these and then of course you get yourself the GX marker and a couple of tokens for play <laughs> how long did that roll for I just I wanted to see how long it'd go on for so where do we begin that one I'm going for you first let's open this bad boy up now I don't know what the ordering is to open these cards so bear with me if there are any spoilers here's your QR code for pack number one so if you want to add a little bit of theater to your Pokemon card unboxings uh, basically what you can do is you can change the order that the cards sit in so when you're going through them face on you'll actually be going up in terms of rarity so it'll go from common to uncommon rare so on and so forth so uh, it's usually it changes per set but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be four forwards and two back so you take the back four and swap them with the next two and then you should be all set and we're starting off wow with a badass Skarmory card good god uh, we're moving on to Caterpie we got ourselves a Sandy Gas there we go our first Alolan or first new generation Pokemon it's got an ability called Shore Up attach uh, an energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon and then of course it's got Sand Tomb for 30 damage and then the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. That's pretty handy. We move on to Rog and Roller. They were a little bit of a nuisance during my Let's Play. And then we move on to Cosmog. Yes. Dust Gathering is all it can do. It can draw a card and that's it. It's got 60 HP though. Good going, dude. Uh, we've got an XP share. When your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's Pokemon, you may move one basic energy from that Pokemon to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Fair play. Uh, we've got an Alolan Raticate. I did wonder how they were going to do the, uh, the font size for that. It's got an ability called Evil Orders. Search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of your benched Pokemon and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And then also Endeavor for 60 plus. Flip two coins. This attack does 30 more damage for each of the heads. That could actually do a lot of damage after a while. What's next? A wishy-washy. It's got the ability Cowardice. Once during your turn, before your attack, uh, you may discard all the cards attached to this Pokemon and return it to your hand. You can't use this ability during your first turn or on the turn this Pokemon was put into play, which seems fair enough to me. Then we move on to Incineroar. Look at that. A reverse hollow Incineroar. So when I say reverse and regular, basically a reverse one is when all of the hollow stuff 
is going on around this part of the card and a regular hollow is when it's happening on the inside of the image of the card but what have you got fire fang for 30 damage your opponent's active pokemon is now burned pretty good and uh darkest lariat 100 times you flip two coins this attack does 100 damage for each heads and to boot it's got 160 hp that is insane anything better behind there uh, it's all right. We got a Butterfree, 130 HP. I tell you what, let's try and chain this. Seeing as we just got an Incineroar a second ago, let's open an Incineroar pack. Here's your QR code, Pokemon.com forward slash TC go, and it's gone. All right, cool. So four from the back, two more. Shuffle them around, and no spoilers for us. Starting off with a Spearow. That's a very, like, early anime version of Spearow. That's kind of interesting to see. We've got a Lowland Grimer. Nice. It's got super poison breath. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. And also pound for 40 as well. We've got a Rowlet. There he is. There's my starter. Good job. 60. It's got Tackle and Leafage. We move on to a Drowsy who's just having a little walk down the beach. I'm digging it. He's got Psychic Boom. This attack does 10 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That could get dangerous real quick. And also a Headbutt for 20. Next up, we have got a Cutie Fly. Hello, you. Fly around for 10. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn, flip a coin. If heads, it prevents that damage. That's actually a really good evasive move. Then we move on to an energy card. Then we've got Granbull. It's got Dark Clamp for 30. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Look at that artwork. He's going to be the very best like no one ever was, isn't he? Look at him. <laughs> I'm going to leave the police force and just go for it, man. You know? All right, behind Granbull, we have a Boldor. Nice. That can follow on from the Rug and Roller from earlier on. Headbutt on 30. Rock Hill for 50. And I actually quite like the artwork on that one. Never really realized how much of a crab it looks like. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, that's a slight spoiler. Uh, we've got Switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So just a regular trainer card. We got a Stuffle. Oh, I'm really hoping there's a Beware card. I mean, there must be, right? And they'd be insane not to put one of those in there. And then the final card is whew, an Espeon GX. Dude, that looks nice. That's number 61 of 149, so it's not too crazy. Uh, but it's got Psybeam for 30. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And then Psychic, this attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your po opponent's active Pokemon. And as well as that, it's got a Divide GX. Put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. So is the GX attack an equivalent of almost like a Z move, maybe? Who are we going for? for next i'm gonna get rid of the duplicates so move you guys to the side we're moving on to the water starter all right there's your qr code and it's gone too slow you probably just paused the video so it was all the time in the world but anyway let's get into it another rowlet first duplicate of the day another cosmog this becomes a very common trend when uh, i open like a full-on like you know booster box and by booster box i mean i get like 32 packs of cards um you know the little ones you see on the shelves in the store yeah I buy the whole thing. We got a Lily Puff. Oh, look at you. You've got a work up. During your next turn, this Pokemon's attack does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. And then you've got a bite on 20 as well. That's adorable. We've got a Wingle. Hello, friend. We've got a Snubble. So there you go. That's that evolutionary chain all sorted out. We got an energy card. We've got another Gramble. I can't believe we've got a dupe. Although it's nice getting those two in one pack. Then we move on to a double colorless energy. Fair play. We've got a Pukimuku. The poopy Pokemon is what I like to call it. Uh, it's called In and Out, its ability. And it says if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. And also continuous tumble 30 times uh, and you flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 30 damage for each heads that also as much as that seems like it's a, a weak move that could multiply up real fast after pukimuku we have a decidui reverse hollow hello friend all we need now is evolution number two and that chain will be completed and behind you is a lantern i don't think i ever saw one of you in my little sun and moon let's play okay so we're all out of duplicates i tell you what seeing as we just got decidui let's go through the starters beginning with you see it changes like pack by pack sometimes it's pokemon.com slash tc 
see go. Sometimes it's redeemed, and sometimes you miss the card that you were trying to get the code for. I think that's the right amount of cards. Right, here we go. We've got a Stuffle. We've got a Litten. First one of the day. That's pretty cool. We've got a Torkoal. He's looking badass. We've got a Young Goose. We've got ourselves another Rowlet. That's like the third one today. We've got another Energy card. A Dragonair. Whoa! Dude, I've always said that Dragonair is one of my favorite artworks on any Pokemon card ever from the first generation, but this one is getting pretty close to rivaling it. Oh my god. Uh, we're moving on to a Poliwhirl. It's very softly blended as well, the colors on that one. Really, really like it. And then behind you is a Crushing Hammer. Flip a coin. If heads, discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then finally... Poison Barb. In oh no, so there's one more behind you. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if the Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now poisoned. That's pretty rad. And then behind you is the Palo Sand. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, you've got an ability called Wall of Sand. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks after applying weaknesses. Sweet. Which starter are we going to go for next? Uh, Incineroar, I'm thinking. Incineroar's been good for us so far, so let's get into it. All right, it's TC Go, and it's gone. All right, four cards, two cards. Bish, Bash, uh, Bosh. Hey, look at that, Marini. It's got Poison Sting. Your opponent's Pokemon is now poisoned or active Pokemon. Rock and Roller again. We got ourselves an Alolan Rattata. That's another evolutionary chain done. Registered! Next up, we got a Chincho. Look at that. We just got your evolved form. Uh, we got a Paris, which I really like the artwork of. Let's get a little zoom in on that. Damn, it's high detailed as hell. Uh, behind you is a Psychic Energy. We got ourselves Energy Retrieval. Put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Fair play. We got a Crocorock. It's got Knock Off for 30 and Darkness Fang for 60. Oh, 20 damage, I mean. Sorry, my bad. 10 off. Uh, behind you is an Araquanid. I never even saw you during my Let's Play. What's your ability? Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Fire Pokemon. That's actually really cool. And then Aqua Edge for 70. I've never seen any of your evolutionary tree, I don't think. Behind you is a Makuhita Reverse Hollow. <laughs> Just having a little stroll through the woods. I get some real One Piece vibes off of that. I like it. And then behind you is, yeah, look at that. Hollow Alolan Dugtrio. <laughs> the hair to this day still gets me. Tangling hair is the ability. Your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost is an extra one. And then Dig Under. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. Love that card. I think that might be my favorite one so far. The final of our starters. Let's get into it. There's your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Let's get into it. We've got a Surskit. Hello, Surskit. We've got a Growlithe. Look how bloody adorable that is. It's so cartoony. I love it. It's got takedown for 60 as well. Crab Brawler. There's my buddy. He was he was a total boss in my Let's Play. I don't care what anybody says. We've got Punch for 20, Crab Hammer for 40. A little bit more plain than I was expecting. Uh, we've got another Marini. We've got another Rock and Roller. We got another Psychic Energy. We got a Corsola, and that artwork as well is very, very pretty. It can call for family. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. And then it's got Surf on 60, which is almost equivalent to its health, which you don't see too often. Uh, we've got Repel. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Oh, that's almost a spoiler. We got Pelipper. There we go. Another evolutionary tree done. And then behind Pelipper is... Wow. Oh, no, there's still one more. Reverse Alolan Raticate. Damn. And then behind you is a Harry Armor. <laughs> Good. We just got the Makahita a second ago. 130 health. It's got Megaton Slap Push for 130 HP. Two left to go. I'm thinking we're going to leave Lunala till last in the hopes that it's going to bring us some luck. So let's open up this bad boy. There's your QR code and it's gone. Getting quicker and faster each time. Here we go. Right. We're starting off with Shelda, which I really like the artwork of that one too. Another Makihita. We've got a Fero. There you go. So we've got our Spearow and those two matched up. 
We've got Grubbin. Of course, I forgot about Grubbin and Charger Bug and Viker Volt. Oh my god, I hope I get those. I hope I get Charger Bug within these next two packs. We've got another Drowsy. We've got a Leaf Energy. We've got a Tora Cat. There you go. There's the middle. So that means we've got, yeah, again, the whole of the chain. Fantastic. It's got Fury Swipes for 20. If you flip three coins, the attack does 20 damage for each head. And then Flamethrower for 90. We move on to Energy Switch. We have a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. We move on to Trumbeak. Ah, I wasn't expecting to see you in here. It's got Bullet Seed. Flip four coins. This attack does 20 damage for each head. And then behind you... A reverse energy switch because everyone wants those uh, and behind you is a print uh, I can't even say it <laughs> but behind you we've got a prime arena 150 HP disarming voice and sparkling Araya right come on Lunala the week the pools have actually been relatively weak today we've not got any secret rares we only have one GX card I'm hoping that this last pack is gonna be a doozy pokemon.com forward slash redeem there you go it's gone Come on, make this a good one. So it's four there, two there. Please, please, please be something rad. Hey, look at Eevee. Oh, actually, Eevee, you're looking a little bit odd there. Am I the only person who thinks Eevee looks a little uh, disproportionate? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it at all. Uh, we got Energy Evolution is the ability though. When you attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon that is the same type as the energy card you put onto this Pokemon, then evolve it, then shuffle your deck. Quick draw as well. Flip a coin. If heads, draw a card. Behind you is another Crab Brawler. Behind you is another Marini. Behind you is a Lolan Diglett. Yay! We got another chain complete. Uh, next up is... Dupida. So this is the other one that we haven't seen before, so I'm assuming that there's only the two of them in that chain. We've got another energy card. We've got a Golba. Hello. Super Poison Breath. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. I, I don't know why the word super needs to be in there, but okay. That's that's fine. Another energy switch. Oh my god. Uh, Professor Kukui. Yeah. Oh yeah. Draw two cards. During this turn, your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage. Woo! Good stuff. I like that. I'm glad I got a Kukui card. Hold on a minute. I never even got the name of that Pokemon before, before it evolved. Cosmo M. It's got Teleport. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. It's got 90 health. It evolves from Cosmog. And then behind you is the Crabominable, which I never actually saw in my Let's Play. People did tell me that it evolves when you go up the mountain to head to the Elite Four, but that is my first time actually, like, seeing it. Holy moly. So we got Avalanche for 80. Uh, this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for the bench Pokemon. And then Ice Hammer for 140. But look at that retreat cost. Four. That's ah, going to take a while to get out of combat. So there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, do let me know in the comment section below. Are you currently collecting Pokemon cards? If so, which set? And what has been your best pull in recent weeks? If you want to see more videos like this one, as well as some of the vlogs that I've been doing, then please head on over to my second channel you can click the link on the screen right now or jump into either of those playlists and my goal for 2017 is to get that channel to 100,000 subscribers to finally get a silver plaque for it after the near 10 years that i've been on youtube so if you want to go do that that'd be sweet and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye